Welcome everybody back to another Bullcast Reaction. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. And this is One Piece Anime Episode 7 Reaction. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. I said Who that? said that? I'm Carson. <laughs> <laughs> this is One Piece. Let's watch it. What happened it. last time? Uh, there was that crazy fight with that dog and that, that dog. lion. It was, Cho -cho. it was really sad. Buggy got blown away, but then was uh, not blown away right after. So we'll see what happens this time. Leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment for One Piece reactions here on the Boldcast One Piece anime channel. Check out Patreon to get a week ahead of edits. Get two weeks ahead on uncuts. You can check that out. Link in the description, patreon.com slash boldcast. Did you say all that? Did I just blank that out? Am I losing my mind? <laughs> um, no, you're fine. I don't know why I got all delirious all of a sudden. Let me drink some water here. Did you read it? Yes, I did. I forgot not to read it. Spoiling yourself, you I know. I, did, I, did, I just need me to tell you to do everything. Can't do anything yourself. You gotta have me here to tell you not to read shit. <laughs> they burned out that dog's shop. I'm not gonna let that slide. <laughs> Okay, well, we could just watch you die if that's what you want, but like. <laughs> Stupid old man. <laughs> it's for your own good, Neville. <laughs> I'm just thinking of the guns version where, he sh <laughs> where she shoots him in the face. <laughs> Is she just gonna Is catch gonna it? Ca shoot it back at him? Like with Garp, yeah. yeah. You better catch it. <laughs> oh good, now it's all destroyed again. What about, what about like blowing up like a nuke? <laughs> like, <laughs> that's not happening this time? Why didn't it like completely disintegrate everything <laughs> in its path? Because then all these guys would be dead. What if- We can't have that. But what if they just ended it that abruptly and then that's how like Buggy just somehow survives and shows up later. <laughs> <laughs> What is it? It's just it's just my power. <laughs> it's, I mean, what, what, what do you want me to tell you? Oh, human shields? He uses his henchmen as shields instead of just like moving, moving out of the way. I mean, that's what exactly what he did do before. Oh, this guy. Hmm. What? The fuck did he just say? <laughs> He's so badass, he could even scare Richie. Acrobat. He was all throwing knives at Zoro and shit. Mm. No. What the hell? Zoro. <laughs> but he's nerfed. But he's still better than this guy. <laughs> oh, fireball jutsu over here. Ah, oh, right in the wound. And all while on a unicycle. <laughs> Very interesting names. 
<laughs> How squeaky it is. It's just like it's this thing he doesn't even like take care of it. <laughs> it's just so squeaky. <laughs> His fight. It's a thousand yard stare. <laughs> Slash his tire. Did he just let him get self get stabbed in the same wound? I was already hurt there. Wait, what? Is he just gonna oh, let no. himself get stabbed like a Is he gonna stab himself? <laughs> no, he's just like, what is happening here? <laughs> Smart. <laughs> She's like, sweet. All right, you'll be my navigator next time. Whoa, he's got so many tricks. Hunter, Hunter. Literally, Hunter, Hunter. I can't blame you her say for that thinking now. that. Yeah. Oh shit. I love the names for all of these attacks. They're so long. What? Hey. Fighting dirty. Luffy's gonna stop it. Nice. <laughs> he's so scary. Yeah. He's so, he's like actually intimidating. I, I actually, I, like, I really appreciate it. How he like gets serious and kind of freaky, like mm -hmm. serial killery. <gasps> I love that so much. It's a crazy horror. Mm -hmm. I'm sure nobody's guarding it in the corner. <laughs> you should have like bashed him over the head or something. He's drunk as shit. the key with the guy that's like standing in front of the treasure instead of like with buggy or someone not like two feet away from it by themselves that's straight up like that's you know what at least this is a, a kid's gag manga and invincible did that shit when they're trying to be like super serious <laughs> <laughs> Onigiri? <laughs> it's a rice ball. <laughs> Damn, he screwed him up. Did he really kill this guy? Probably not. <laughs> he accepted that he's a pirate. He said, I'm a pirate. Mm -hmm. That's so awesome. <laughs> He's gonna 
have second thoughts. Did he have those yeah. Because I remember I was talking about how that was a reoccurring theme. That's why I was asking because I wasn't sure if he did it or if he was the one that didn't do it and everyone else did, but yeah. I just realized this is kind of a lot like uh, Jing and Razor. Mm. <laughs> Are you stupid? He could just reach out and Spider-Man it. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> counter. <laughs> I love that, like, the laughing and, like, flying across the screen. <laughs> yeah. Always pissed. You're just gonna piss him off even more, honestly. Stomp on it. <laughs> Pirates in training. <laughs> you go to school for it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what was that? Yeah, what did happen? Yeah, that's what I want to know. Yeah. I knew, like, we knew he was, like, bitter towards him, but... For he what reason? on this level. Yeah. What did he do? Really? 
And he's probably still not going to tell us next time either, so. God damn it. I mean, yeah, it wasn't revealed in the live action, and, like, why, Why you wouldn't, know, yeah. Shit. This is such a good early fall song. Mm-hmm. Late summer, early fall. I bet this song is going to play, like, at the end of the arc or season or something, with, like, a montage of all the crazy mm. moments, and it's going to be so gonna emotional. So well. What do you think of that one? Um, <laughs> I like... That was the, the guy on the unicycle was kind of just out, out, absolutely out of control. The like side villains in the show <laughs> are absolutely ridiculous. I love it. Um, Again, it's, it's like nothing. It's like it feels like it feels like nothing crazy is going to happen. But and it, it, at the end of the episode, I'm just like, oh, I just want to see more. And I'm like, oh, nothing much happened. But then I look back and I just yeah. scroll through and I'm like, we covered so much ground in one episode. Yeah. It's like there it seems like so much is going on all the time. Like it's crazy. Because at the end, yeah, I'm just like, oh, well, like that you know, they're fighting buggy and that's... Mm -hmm. But then I if think you look back, it's just like holy shit, there was like three fights. I think it's cuz <laughs> a lot of it is like the ridiculousness is like up to 100. So like the actual end result of the thing is not that crazy right but yeah. the the journey through it is completely out of control like yeah. in the end of which the fight, kind of explains like the whole show yeah with, with the end of the fight with zoro zoro's in the same spot that he was two <laughs> yeah. episodes ago sleeping off his wounds however during the fight this guy was like doing all these crazy acrobatic moves and like flying around and like lighting him on fire and like making dust clouds and like riding a unicycle up the side of the building and stabbing him in the same spot and like, you, you know, it, it's completely ridiculous, the things that are going it's on. crazy. And then Nami gets the map back, which is like, she already had the map and then she gave it back to them for no yeah. reason. And now she has it back again. Yeah, so, so it's just kind of convoluted, like, it's this, like things ends up end up in the same place no matter yeah, that's, how. Yeah, that's why it seems like not go. a lot happened because at least for these past few episodes, everyone has been ending up the, in the exact same spot yeah. that they already were in. But, uh, some crazy shit happened along the way. Um, and yeah, Buggy talking about Shanks, it seems like here... I feel like it's much more mysterious in this because in the... Well, I mean, also in this, I guess, it's, it's like, yeah, of course Shanks wouldn't want to be hanging out with this dude who's, like, crazy and, you know, blowing up buildings Yeah, but and it seems stuff. like something happened. But in happened. this, it seems like it was way more of a personal offense you know what like, if he like gave him his nose or something he punched him in the face and made his nose like that one thing i did so, sorry were, 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 um were. i was gonna say also the portrayal of buggy in the live action versus this in the live action he it's like oh he's so narcissistic and so full of himself that of course he would take anyone doing anything for themselves as like an offense against him you know what I mean? Like, th like live action buggy. If Shanks just like went and did his own thing, he'd be like, he betrayed me on on a deep level. Mm -hmm. But in this, it seems like that there's there's like some real beef going on there. Yeah, I want, and it's like I wonder if there if this is just like, I wonder if Shanks feels the same way or if it's so. Th this is the kind of a tropey thing that happens like in in uh, in stories sometimes where like they're setting up sort of like a hostile brothers relationship between mm -hmm. them. But is it like that or is it, or will it end up like that? Or will it just be Shanks doesn't even remember Buggy or, or like, just like doesn't is not, it's not that significant to him. Cause like, I, I, I wonder if the original thing, like again, thinking of just like clues that are left that like maybe lead you in a direction. Shanks, he, he Buggy holds the three swords in his fingers like claws mm -hmm. and then shanks has the three claw marks across his eye they're way mm. smaller so like you know but size is whatever it's just about like visual storytelling um again i'm not saying that this is like what i think is actually going to happen but like again when you're setting up all these things there's all these elements there's all this stuff that uh is being put forward and mm -hmm. I, I i just don't i don't know what what is intentionally or like what what oda might have thought of or or whatever there's like a million different directions anything could go at any given time so i'm just like thinking of maybe this was a possible direction he was thinking of going mm -hmm. like there are like hostile brothers and maybe that's like why uh he has blue hair shanks has red hair buggy has like this big nose and maybe that's not like his thing normally maybe 
Shanks gave him this nose, or maybe there's like another mark under his hat or some shit. But like, Sh Buggy has this big nose, Shanks has these three claws across his eye, and then Buggy is also like stabbing the hat with his three mm -hmm. claws that he like hates so much, and you know. I also love how Buggy just hates that he has a big nose, but like literally puts it on his flag and also on his hat. Like a yeah. depiction of a giant nose. It's like he's on trying to skull. own it. That's what that's what makes me think that it's it's like not from birth. It's like something that he's trying to like own so that people can't make fun of him, but he's also really insecure about it because he hasn't had it for his whole life. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> Probably not. It's probably, but like again, again, like maybe, maybe that would, maybe this, what I'm saying is like a thought maybe Oda had and was like going in that direction. But then obviously we, like, we don't know what happens later in the story, but we know that this, the world is so much bigger than just this like yeah. Luffy following his like father figure who had this like hostile brother and they were like, you know, they were once friends and then they became enemies and went apart. And then, mm -hmm. you know, like that's, that's a very like singular sort of storyline to run in a story like this. But we know that One Piece doesn't follow a singular thing like that yeah. necessarily. So uh, it could, it could. You know, maybe maybe this maybe it was being set up. Maybe it wasn't. It seems like maybe something in that direction was was important here. Maybe it will be important later in the story, and this is setting up something that will be vastly important. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I I just I I don't know, and I'm not pretending to know, but it's just interesting to think about. Mm -hmm. uh, why would he like hate Shanks so much? I don't know. We just know he has a big deal about his nose. We know that he ha is really bitter about Shanks and like curse him for like, the fact that he's like, he's the number he's one the number person. One. I will never forgive him. I will curse him till the day I die. And the one thing that whenever anybody mentions it, he gets is his nose. so yeah. irrationally angry is his nose. So it seems like maybe there's a connection there. I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, you think so? I think, I think that there definitely could be. Um, because yeah, you're right. He he like the reaction to like both of those things is kind of on the same level of mm -hmm. hatred. Yeah. Mhm. Mm we shall see. Next one. Welcome. Never mind. It's been like one second for you, but for us, it's been like a week and a half or something. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Destroying his hat. Everyone's knocked out. Well, Zoro's just asleep. Stole enormous riches from you. Are we actually just going to get the back? Oh. <laughs> Who's this guy? <laughs> Oh, for the scars. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Damn. This is death. Mm. <laughs> Shanks, Shanks is gonna steal his crazy treasure map. Well, who knows, there might not even be anything there. It was just a yeah. random it pirate. It doesn't say, like, epic treasure to be found at this location. Like, he's getting all, like, hyped up over this one little thing. <laughs> just being so suspicious. てめえの戦闘の腕だけは感じてやってもよかったんだよな。お前の部下ですよ。ね、相方が違うんだから別々の道を好きに行けば海賊だ。てめえが海賊を語るのかよ。だがそうなりゃ海でやった。それも海賊
Mm. What the hell? Oh. What? I don't understand. I He's don't, like... I don't know why after he s got told that it would sell for that much that he just went and ate it. Yeah, I don't- what? I don't understand. Oh. Did he accidentally eat the real one or something? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> And then he lost them. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You're great at swimming, he says. I love this slow motion jump. <laughs> I don't get what he was doing. <laughs> Stupid. I love he blames Shanks too, but he was the one who just put it in his mouth. And, and then that's what he's gonna it. say. How was I that mean, his? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, thanks to you, you have. I mean, thanks to him, according to you, you have this power. So. <laughs> and then here comes Nami with all of his treasure. <laughs> oh! And you're walking in the middle of the road. Just kick him. The <laughs> 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 sound effect is so bad. Run, Nami! I need to Honestly, talk about what the hell happened. Kicking him. <laughs> oh yeah, the mayor. <laughs> oh no, they're all gonna fly into town now. <laughs> I smash him over the head with the treasure. Finders keepers, bro. Ever heard of it? <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> He's gonna tickle him? Pulls up some Legos. Or yeah. like. <laughs> Man, the fights in One Piece are crazy. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> He just like destroyed the street. <laughs> this is literally in a smoking crater. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Did Luffy think that he just killed him? <laughs> and he was totally like, chill oh, with he's it. He's still alive. There's <laughs> 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 like 20 shots of the yeah. same thing. <laughs> oh my god, that sound effect. Buggy's blasting off again! So Nami joined the strides, kind of. She teamed up with them. Teamed up with them. He's gonna lie and tell these people. Oh yeah, the mayor. He he defeated all those pirates by himself. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just a He's just so good at so saying <laughs> stuff that that is just like no one else would ever admit to. Now he's to. just gonna be like, "Hey, oh, you want to fight me? Fine, I'll kick your ass too." <laughs> like beats up all these innocent villagers just based on a misunderstanding. So you beat up our mayor <laughs> and your fucking pirates. <laughs> no, we're nice pirates. We promise. <laughs> <laughs> this is very different. Was he gonna wake up now and be like, stop? <laughs> yeah, everyone in this town just loves their. Uh, the well, you could have said that you just didn't do it, and then they wouldn't have- they, There was literal other pirates there that could have easily done it. Oh, it's the dog! Cho-Cho! He'll defend He's them. gonna hold them oh. off. I saw, by the way, I, he was in the live action. Really? Yes. <laughs> wow! <laughs> yeah. What a good dog. Or shoo that's why you need to like be. Like shoo that's why you need to be <laughs> be nice to dogs. Always be nice to dogs. Let's just take Buggy's fucking ship. I know. We, yeah. we mentioned that before. The boat looks so good. Like it looks the same as the the live mm -hmm. action did such a good job at emulating it. Even had like the little triangle pattern on the outside. Mm -hmm. Okay. What are you gonna do? You wanna join our crew? <laughs> Zorga lift up his head. Uh, uh, 
体だった。残っていた海賊どもがいたが一人残らず。バッパどもは。ほぼほあの三人組のことは生きておるのか。<笑>あのバカこの年を。さともなら、さっきみんなで追っ払ってやったことです。だが血がすま、我々を嘲笑うかのようだった。<laughs> He's not even gonna like clear their name. He's just gonna keep like leaning into how they're assholes, but only he can complain about it. Wait, wait, what? They did steal the boat? Oh, just one of the little boats. Mm hmm. Because she swiped their boat earlier. I forgot that they, that uh, Luffy technically had one of those little boats. Oh, look who it is! The big man himself, ready to cry wolf every day of his life. <laughs> every no, make single him look, day of his life. Make him look like so badass at the end there. At the beginning of the next episode, he's just gonna be like flying around town, bothering everyone. Well, I'm excited because he was like the one part that was really cut out of the live action, apparently. Oh. Well, like that was a big, that like a lot of people complained about like all the Marine stuff that was added, but a lot of people also complained about it because they it took time away from Usopp. Hmm. And like he was a very underwhelming character in the live action in terms of progress. Like we focused a lot on Zoro, a lot on Nami, a lot on Sanji. But if you think about Usopp, we had like yeah. one episode with him really. But he he was kind of the weakest character out of the out of the whole group. But I don't think that's probably the case in here. In here yeah. So that it's gonna be really interesting to see like how, how much how much they skipped and yeah. you know like how much more endeared will be. Like mm -hmm. it'll, 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 out of the main, like, five characters, we're, we're, I think we're gonna have the most to learn about him, which is mm -hmm. gonna be sick. Uh, Just yeah, that, that, was, that was a good episode. I liked that. I liked, uh, the conclusion to this. Uh, the, the flashback. The, the flashback? Wait. <laughs> okay. Was his, wait, so let's recap everything here. So he and Shanks are like, uh, for lack of a better, I was, I was gonna say like, uh, Hashi to Obito type thing, but not really, not 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 quite. But like, you know, the the teachers, old yeah. friends, you know, um, they were buddies as kids, and uh, worked together, and then and which we knew, and then but they had a much more of a rival relationship, like one on one. I thought there would be there would be like a, a class of hooligans, but it's just mm -hmm. the two of them. Anyway, so they're they they raid they board a pirate ship. He steals the map to some treasure. Uh, who knows what what this treasure is or how important the treasure map is. It was just some random dude that he stabbed to death and then... I also, one detail that I really like is that like this is all in like a fictional world, right? But then they still have the, the North Pole and the South Pole. Like, I mean, yeah, there's, you know, gravity still exists. I know, but like, you know, I, I think like other planets don't have like that necessarily. So it's just interesting that they include that and they still call it the same thing as well. I think every, 
Every planet with yeah, an but... atmosphere technically has a North Pole and a South Pole. Is some some planets I think it shifts, which makes it unstable. But uh, you know, that's just, that's a tenant of gravity. I don't understand how it works, but I know that that's. I think that works. that's true. How, I uh, guess. I think that's how that works. Uh, it's been a long time since elementary school, and they taught you all that stuff. But <laughs> what? Never mind. You're just gonna say I guess. Never, what? never mind. Never mind. But I do know. Okay. Said, so, what I do, I, I do know what you're getting at, though. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not saying that like the the literal term of a North Pole and a South Pole would be incorrect. I'm just saying that it that it is interesting in a place where like every other name of everything is like made up. Yeah. Than to have like the North Pole and the South Pole be like. You know what I mean? Because it's like, oh, we have the Grand Line, and we have the this line, and then that line, and we have all of these places, and then still here we have the North Pole and the South Pole, like a very familiar, uh, like, mm -hmm. thing. A yeah. question that I think the show poses is very interesting is, which is colder? Mm -hmm. Life's life's great mysteries. Comment whether you think Buggy's right or Shanks is right on which is colder. So it's um, colder in real life. Isn't the South Pole co colder? Um, I would think because there's more land, more like snow gathered. I don't know. Yeah, also is Antarctica, there, right? Yeah, also, I, I don't know because people are always like exploring like around the North Pole, but I feel like I don't hear as much. Who's exploring? The, I feel like everyone's exploring Ant Antarctica. Oh, maybe. Which is on the south. Pole. Yes, I know Antarctica is Just, on the south. Because I know you pole. don't know your left and right, so you might not know, know your north yes, and south. Yes, I do. Um, I don't know. Anyway, I also, did you know if you go to Antarctica, you just die? Like, they will kill you? Like, if you show up there, you're not allowed to go there. If you show up, say, if you ha if you somehow if you showed up, show say, that. if you did, they would say, they would kill you. Why? Because you're not allowed to be there. They're hiding shit over there. <laughs> Maybe it's colder. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they're hiding how cold it is. They're hiding how cold it is. Or really how warm is. it is. Anyway, so let's recap. So he gets this map, and then he's like, now my future is decided. Oh, yeah, another easy win. And then they're all partying. Uh, I got nothing special. And then Shanks is... So... Shanks is like, I got a devil fruit. Then he, then Buggy steals the fruit and then eats it in front of the whole crew. And then it's a fake version. No, no, no. Okay, so Buggy, he hears about the devil fruit and then he's like, okay, I don't want that because. <laughs> Because then I can't swim, but then he finds out that it's worth a lot of money. So he's like shit I have this map if I also had that fruit then I would be absolutely loaded and set for the rest of my life So what does he do? He makes the fake he eats the fake in front of everyone So that then everyone thinks that there is no more fruit the fruits gone. Oh, it was a fake Oh, oh, well, we can move on with our lives little do Except they know somehow <laughs> shanks wasn't there They're on a boat. Where was he what? when he ate his fake death? No, he saw him, but then he but he had the real one later, so that's what. But he was hiding the real one because Shanks thought that he already ate it. So oh. if he suddenly had it again, <laughs> I thought Shanks like missed everything and <laughs> thought he still had a devil fruit. No, no, it, it was he was hiding it in his <laughs> mouth <laughs> because because he didn't want to expose himself for e eating a fake. And uh, stealing this one for all for himself, also with this map. Um, but I don't. I mean, obviously, it's like that's part of the joke is that he's just so stupid, and he's blaming Shanks for just himself being an absolute <laughs> moron. <laughs> this is such like this is this is such like a classic. I don't know, kids cartoon. It's like a Looney Tunes. Yeah, like yeah. Like just absolute ridiculous <laughs> stupidity oh my uh, God. but like weirdly earlier when they were sitting on top of that uh like part of like when they're sitting on top of the boat it was just like kind of nostalgic and kind of sad feeling not there here <laughs> no no not there when they were talking like up there like it, it was just had a kind of a nice vibe to it but a little bit sad Why for me anyway sad? 
It just it just seems sad because they were just hanging out, but obviously they're, they're not like, friends anymore. Like if we ever anymore. see each other, I'm gonna kill you. He's like, yes, yeah, same to you, bucko. <laughs> same to you, buccaneer. And then uh, and then they you know fought Buggy and then chased him off and then. You know, got out of there. I do just... like the detail of Luffy being like, oh, he's not dead. It's like, you thought you just straight up murdered the yeah. guy. Oh, wait, he's alive? <laughs> he's it. still alive? He's like, <laughs> he thought he, damn, that should have killed thought him. He, beat, he thought he just beat Buggy to death right there and was so, like, and was genuinely surprised when he got up. <laughs> Although, um, I think it might be a tr also a translation thing, genuinely, because I think that's something that I've noticed in other shows, too, where they're like, oh, he's alive, but what they're saying is, like, oh, he's conscious, like, oh, he's, he's oh, back okay. up, see, like, it's it's kind of both meanings, like, it could mean, like, oh, he's alive, as in, I thought he was dead, but also, I thought he was knocked out, but he's getting up, like, he's, um... Like, a, a lot, like... Like, he's awake, yeah. like, he's, like, he's, uh, with it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, type. Th I, th I think that that's kind of more what it is. And then uh, Nami fixes hat. Yep. Well, she didn't fix it yet. We didn't At, see by the end, I thought it was whole. No. Oh, no, it's not. She will though. I like. That's one thing about live action as well. They they uh, said that she. Fixed. They said that she or they they she she we, they showed her fixing it. Mm -hmm. In this, I don't think they show it. Uh, based. I think I saw a comment about that. Oh. Um. Where like you don't see it, but like in next chapters, it's, she she says she fixes and then and it's, then fixed. it's fixed. Yeah, so I think that's cool. The mayor is has so much more personality, is just so much more crazy. Yeah. He doesn't clear their name at all with these people. Which, okay, so I think what they're they might be doing there is they're set they're like <coughs> so like Luffy, part of the whole intro to this, I think, is like they're going around and like making a name as pirates. Mm -hmm. So they're like getting into hijinks and like they're getting a reputation of them being like criminals. So I think part of it is now all this town, they're leaving like a trail of people behind them of like mischief and bamboozles mm -hmm. where they, you know, now all these people, like the mayor could, maybe the mayor cleared their name, but it seems like they, he didn't on purpose so that now there's not, not he didn't do it with the intention of this, but like, from a writing perspective, the mayor doesn't clear their name because now there's yet another town with like a, a legend of these crazy kids. <laughs> this guy with a straw hat who's just like going around blowing shit up and like getting everything blamed on him, which is very much, uh, you haven't seen it, but Vash the Stampy and Trigon is just a very similar thing. There's like a bounty on his head where the whole show is like him going to all these Western, you know, deserty towns. And then everybody, th there's like a bounty of whatever, 20 million double dollars or whatever the, I forget what the, uh, 200 billion double or whatever the, the, the amount is or whatever it is. But, um, he's really just like a wacky character who's going around like trying to help people, mm. but he has this constant, uh, th just... this, this constant reputation that precedes him. And everyone thinks that he's just this evil, crazy mm. mercenary, like murderer, but really he's showing up in places where there all are these crazy murderers taking care of it. And then for some reason or another, it all gets blamed on him because he's not the type of guy to like take all the credit mm -hmm. for it necessarily. He'll just move on. And then everyone's like, oh, what happened to that Vash guy? Oh, well he showed up and then all this crazy shit happened. And then I was going, so I think maybe th that's kind of setting up something here because that was something in the live action we talked about. It's just like, what did Luffy actually do to be like a pirate? Like well, he's not going around killing people and robbing no. people. What he's doing is being like an anime guy who's going around and like helping people inadvertently but like since it's about him being a pirate he can't like he like he's he's not gonna be a pirate because he needs to be the good guy but he is a, still a pirate so he can't like actually be the good guy so he's beating up old men <laughs> and he's like you know saying I'll kick your ass or like being an antagonist or whatever but he has a heart of gold he just doesn't seek everybody's approval mm -hmm. so then there's like these misunderstandings that lead to him of it and, and little bad things that he does like punching the guy or like stealing the in the live action he steals the safe mm -hmm. but like the big thing is that the, the reputation is being built up even though he's not, you know, he's not like buggy. He's not blowing up towns and everything. Yeah. So it's this weird line to walk from a writing perspective where you want to have a, a series about pirates. The main character wants to be king of the pirates. He has a different idea about what that means, but also, you know, 
the show is for kids, the series is for kids, and it's about, like, promoting, like, he needs to be a good guy, he, and pirates are not good people, like, so, Yeah, well, you know. what I was gonna say is also, because the show is for kids, I think part of it is also, like, um, you, the, the sort of, like, oh no, the old man, like, is mad at them or whatever but then in the end he's like like he's going after them and he's like looking all mad and like screaming and like oh yeah i can't believe they did this and that and then he's like crying and like saying thank you to them so i think part of it is also that because they need to like extend that moment of like oh no is the mayor like mad at them yeah. or oh no the mayor understands yeah. you know but but also he's there alone doing that and then the only people who like the the town the last town they were in that like showed them thanks or whatever they also at the end of it were like okay but you're pirates and it's kind of like um it's it's a little bit of a forced thing with, with the, when the marines say goodbye to them because like they didn't do anything really bad but it was just like they went against the rules mm -hmm. so they're like they're they're like a robin hood type yeah. thing and that's kind of the point of, of the show and that's i think at a certain point in the series um like once we get maybe the full crew together or maybe once we get to the end of the arlong stuff it'll be and and maybe at that point maybe it'll happen later but maybe at that point or whatever when luffy gets his bounty they'll the re the reputation will be like so solid and then all of this stuff will just kind of be hazy and then it'll just be like oh well luffy's just a pirate that's what he is so like mm -hmm. uh all that kind of is in the past and at this point it's you know he's more of an, an explorer and um an adventurer than he is a pirate necessarily yes. but it's a it's about pirates as an aesthetic just like how naruto is a show about ninjas as an aesthetic but they're really like magic wizard <laughs> god beings like it's not really about ninjas past a certain point unless like other than the sort of the aesthetic, the aesthetic and the image of what of of ninjas as an attractive like image to mm -hmm. look at or to to be invested in or to kind of anchor things to so I, i'm sure like all of this is obviously really obvious um, and you know, it's not even a complaint. It's just a, it's just breaking down again, the obvious because we're viewing this for the first time, all of these things that you probably take for granted or maybe didn't even think about or don't matter to you. Uh, you know, that's the, the benefit to us watching this for the first time is that these, these, you know, we break these th things down as we go along. And then, you know, as, as it goes along, it becomes, you know, not as important or whatever. Anyway. <laughs> I think it's I think I, I just think it's worth saying that at this point because then we can build off that as as it goes along. But yeah, yeah. Leave a like and subscribe. Check out Patreon. See you next time, Carson. I'm Lindsay. Bye bye.